today we're doing an underwater mob battle but i'm secretly going to be using hacks to troll my friend using this one-way glass i can see exactly what my friend is doing at all times and whatever mob he spawns i can spawn the perfect counter and speaking of which let's go see how my friend doga is doing oh doga what are you doing over here hey denny i'm just building my robot you know getting ready for the underwater mob battle robot robots can't go underwater silly why are you using a robot what do you mean they they can't go underwater like look at this ready now get out of the water so we can start the mob challenge i guess it was a dumb idea yeah it was now are you ready to start this mob battle oh yeah denny i am ready to start this mob battle i'm super duper excited because i have not seen anyone use underwater for mob battles like ever i've never seen it i haven't seen it either and i'm so excited for this doga all right all right go 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 leave leave i don't i don't want to see your face i want to win i'm gonna all right, win let's go let's go you will keep that confidence for long all right guys i just went on mute and as you can see with this one-way glass i can see exactly what my friend doga is doing let's see what mob he decides to spawn first and it looks like he's spawning a weird looking green red shrimp creature oh he's spawning a whole bunch of them wow this is gonna be an insane fight okay he's spawning a bunch of these shrimps so it looks like i'm gonna have to spawn a bunch of a mob myself and i think i know the perfect mob to counter these shrimps Shrimps are nice creatures, and what better to combat a nice creature than a mean creature? So I'm going to spawn a sea devil. Look at these guys. You do not want to mess with them. These guys are crazy, and we'll turn you to dinner if you so much as look at them the wrong way. So Doga's mobs are going to have absolutely no chance against these guys. Now I'm going to spawn a bit more of them just so we can have an entire army of them. And these guys, look at them. They're insane. They're like a whole family. There's no way Doga's going to be able to survive this. Going to spawn a bit more right around here. And just like that, I think our family of sea devils is complete. And look at them swimming around. I don't mean to sound weird, but these guys are actually kind of cute. But at the same time, they are killing machines. And let's see what Doka's going on with his side. And it looks like he's built a little Kermit the Frog. And I have built my Kermit the Frog. I mean, a shrimp. And I've built my super duper cool shrimp. I mean, look at him. He's got the same colors as these shrimps. Oh my gosh. I love shrimps so much. They've got like one, two, three, four... Like a five billion legs. It's amazing. I love you. I love you, shrimp. Come here. Mwah. Shrimp? I thought that was a frog. That looks horrible. But it does look kind of cute, so I'll give him points for that. But since he decided to build his own mob, it looks like I'm going to have to build my mob as well. I'm going to start by placing some black wool right here. Make it a little bit floating. And I'm going to make a bit of a body by placing some black wool like this. Now, his head looks a bit bigger than the rest of his body, so that's exactly what I'm going to do right here. Make it a bit wider like this. And make it a bit of a taller head like this. Now I'm going to add a bit of a mouth and give him some nice white teeth. Just like that. It's already starting to come along really good. And it looks just like our creature right here. It looks like he has some little white eyes in the front. So that's exactly what I'm going to give him right here. Also, I'm going to make his body a little bit wider in the back because he's looking kind of frail right now. Going to give him a bit of a fin. Going to give him a fin that curves around like this. And do the same thing at the bottom right here. Finally, I'm going to add one final fin at the back to finish it all off. And just like that, I think our sea devil is looking quite devilish indeed. Now, with that done, I think it's about time we start our mob battle. Oh, Doga, are you about ready to start the mob battle? Yes, I'm just spawning in all my shrimp again just because they, uh, they are sadly passed away. I'm not sure why. But they're close to the wall now, and they are ready to go. Did I say shrimp? I meant iron golem. I spawned an iron golem. Uh. Why do I feel like you're lying? I think I see shrimp on the other side of this wall. I mean, wait. You see? See shrimp? What do you mean you see the shrimp? Th there's a bedrock wall here. There's no way you could have seen the shrimp. Oh, well, uh, you see, I have an allergy to shrimp, so... I get a little bit itchy when I come near the wall, so I think it just knew it had to be shrimp over there. Oh, I suppose, but that's not shrimp, I promise. Maybe you got an allergy to iron golems or something, or maybe like robots, because I put robots here. We shall see, Doga. Okay, are you about ready to start round one of this mob battle? I am super duper ready for this battle, and you're going down. There's no possible way you're winning this. My mobs are ten times better than yours. We'll see about that. Okay, the wall is coming down in three, two... One, 
and let's begin. Oh my gosh. Wait, what are these? Oh my, they've got like lanterns on top of them and they have big teeth. Oh no, my shrimp might be in trouble here. Meet my friends, the sea devils. There's no way your shrimp are gonna survive this. Oh, look, the fighting has started. It looks like these guys are going at it. Oh my gosh, this fighting is so intense, but I think my sea devil's gonna come out on top and there he did. Oh my gosh. Wait, no, my shrimp are fighting each other. They probably had an argument halfway through the fight and they're just having a disagreement right now. Please, come on. We can go to therapy. We can sort this out. No! <laughs> His shrimps can't even get along with each other. How are they going to get along with my sea devils? Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, they're right over here. They're, they're fighting, fighting again. again. No, one of them got destroyed. Oh, there's another fight right here. Okay, they're going at it. They're going at it. No, he's about to knock him out of the arena. No, no. This is bad. This is actually a way closer fight than I thought it would be. Oh, and it looks like I'm only down to a few more sea devils. Please come out on top. I know. Okay. Yes. Yes. More of that, more of that. How did you get the direct counter? I'm just really good at Minecraft, Doga. I don't know what to say. It looks like there's only a few more sea devils left, but I think they're still gonna come out on top. No, do not knock him over the edge, please. Okay, good, 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 oh, yes! No, shrimp! And there's only one more shrimp left. This guy is so shrimpy, he's definitely gonna get defeated. Come on, it's pretty shrimp. All you have to do is hit him. No! How does this keep happening? Okay, two against one. We definitely got this. Come on. Come on, Shrimpleton. That's his name. It's the winner's name. Come on, a 1v1. A 1v1. No, come on, stop running away. Come on, Ooh, and yes! No! Oh, no. And just like I thought, I won the mob battle. My shrimps. Better luck next time, Doga. Okay, are you ready to start round two? Yeah, I'm ready, and you're going down this time. All right, let's see who goes down. Okay, my sea devils did a great job, but unfortunately, it's time to clear them out for the next fight. Okay, my area is all clear and ready for round two. Let's see what mob Doka is going to pick. And it looks like he's picking elder guardians. Wow, those things are strong. Those are actually some of the most powerful mobs in vanilla minecraft but luckily this isn't vanilla in fact i got the perfect mod to add a little flavor to this competition see elder guardians are pretty strong but what are stronger than guardians how about sharks wow doga's gonna really be in deep water now with these sharks there's absolutely no way doga's gonna take home this victory and we are gonna demolish his guardians doga may think he's good but let's see if he can handle swimming with the sharks what in the world just happened looks like doga's having some technical difficulties with the side i think the guard Guardians gave up on guarding whatever they're guarding. Guardians? More like guard dying. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna spawn a bit more sharks so we can begin this contest. And guys, my family of sharks is looking quite majestic, and I think I had this victory pretty much in the bag. I think I'm gonna check on Doga a little bit just to see how he's doing. Hey Doga, so what mob did you decide to spawn? Oh, you think I'm gonna tell you which mob I'm gonna spawn? You are sorely mistaken. There is no way you can know my mob until I have put down the wall. Well, it doesn't matter because these guardians are getting defeated. I mean... Wait... How did you know I have a guardian, huh? Wait, no, I mean, you know, I don't have a guardian. Maybe you just had a really good guess, which was incorrect, by the way. Wow, that was a close one, guys. I almost blew my cover. Okay, I'm gonna go back on mute, and then I'm gonna finish my side. That was super weird. And it looks like Doga's actually started to build something. It looks kind of like a grenade? Oh, no, it looks like a fish. Because look, here's the body, and here are the fins. It looks kind of weird, so I'm just gonna let him keep building that while I start to build my own thing. I'm gonna build a shark, and it's gonna look amazing. Watch this. I'm gonna start by having a body floating in the air, just like so. And I'm gonna start making his head a little bit lighter than the rest, just so there's some contrast. Make his head a bit long, because that's the way sharks are. I'm gonna make his head a bit long in the sides, because that's the way our hammerhead sharks look. And already, I think this is starting to look really cool. I'm gonna add some eyes in the underside, just so they can see. And add a bit more of a head to the top of them. And wow, this looks more like he's wearing a hat, but I still think he's looking really cool. I'm gonna add some fins on the back, just so you can have an easier time swimming. And I'm gonna make his body a little bit thicker in the back. Add another fin, like so. And then another one down here. Look at that, that looks really, really cool. I'm gonna add a bit more to the top of his head, just cause it looks a bit flat right now. I know it's a hammerhead shark, but still, this is too far. Gonna add one more block right here, and I think we're good with the head. And finally, I'm gonna add some fins on either side, just to finish up the shark. Add some fins like so. Okay, that is one side done, looking very good. Now I'm gonna do the other side exactly the same. Three more blocks right here, one, two, three, and I think we're done with the fins. And yes, our shark is looking amazing. And speaking of sharks, what do you guys think are better, sharks or Choo Choo Charles? Leave in the comments below because I'm kind of curious. Now that we're done with our build, it's time to look at Doga's and see what he has. And wow, this actually looks pretty good. 
Man, my Guardian build is so good right now. I've got the fins, I got the spikes, and I think I'm gonna give the effect of slow mining for everyone. That'd be pretty fitting. That would not be fitting, Doga. You know, his build looks pretty good, but I still think it pales in comparison to our shark. Now, while he's finalizing his build, I'm gonna add a bit more sharks just to add to the family. And just like that, I think we're done and just about ready to start round two of this mob battle. Oh, Doga, are you about ready to start round two? Yes, sir, I am ready for this mob battle. I've got an epic build. I got of epic mobs which somehow you kind of guessed before not that you did guess it though uh kind of weird though but uh yeah I i'm ready for this mob battle all right let's do it the wall is coming down in three two one and go 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 oh my gosh you got hammerhead sharks how are my three little guardians meant to beat that your guardians aren't gonna guard anything all they're gonna do is be guarding their grave wait look at this the shark can't even get really near them oh no actually the other guardians are pushing my shark away and no the first shark is down oh my gosh wait your sharks kind of suck my sharks aren't really even doing anything it looks like they need a bit of motivation with the controlled shock he should be back in line wait this shark already killed one of the guardians Oh, wait, while I wasn't looking, one of the sharks actually destroyed one of the guardians. And, oh, no, I was looking at that. One of my sharks just passed away again. Oh, my gosh, one of the guardians got taken out. We only have one guardian left. Oh, whoa, the sharks are charging the elder guardian. Oh, my gosh. No, it's taking a lot of damage from the sharks. Oh, they're all ganging up on him. There's no way he's going to be able to escape. No, no, no. If they attack again, my elder guardian is done for. Oh, look, they're all attacking him. They're all attacking him. There's no way he's going to survive this. Come on, sharks. You got it. You got no. it. Yeah. Yes! No, no! Oh my gosh! And just like before, round two is another Denny victory. The sharks did a great job, but it's time to clear them out and get ready for round three. Let's see what Doga decides to do for his third mob. And looks like he's doing some puny little iron golems. What is he doing? Iron golems are perfect for an underwater battle because they can't go to the top of the water. Therefore, they just sink to the bottom and they don't breathe. So they can breathe underwater. Therefore, they're pretty much a fish. I love fish, especially when they're made out of iron. There's no way daddy's winning this battle. All right, I guess that's a pretty interesting justification for using iron golems, but thankfully, I have just a mob that can destroy these. Since Doka is spawning giant underwater iron creatures, I think I better spawn my own giant underwater iron creature too. And that is this mob right here. These guys are absolutely insane. Look at them. You do not want to mess with them. And since they're just like the iron golems, they too won't take any water breathing damage. And in the back too, it looks like he built a big iron golem. So I guess I'm going to have to build a big version of these knights too. Going to start by making some big gray feet like this. And I'm going to start making himself some legs. And I'm going to start making him some legs too. That's already coming along really good, but I'm going to make him a bit taller than that. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, just like this. I want our knight to be pretty friendly, so I'm going to make him a bit shorter than normal. But don't worry, he still has maximum firepower. Going to start making him a little tummy like this. Just like that, I think his tummy is just about complete. And now I'm going to start on his head. I'm going to make it a cool looking helmet because, well, that's what they're wearing. Going to make it about this tall and then make a little bit of a roof right here. In the back, I'm going to place gray wool just like this. It looks like this guy's helmet has a bit of a division in the shape of a T in the middle. So it looks like that's what I'm going to do for my build. Going to start on the T right here. And just like that, the helmet looks really cool. He has some horns at the top of his head too. So I'm going to add a bit of those. This looks awesome. And to finalize the build, I'm going to add some arms on the side. And just like I said, he has maximum firepower. So of course, he's going to be T-posing to assert his dominance. And just like that, I think we're about done and ready for the next mob battle. And it looks like Doka's actually made some more progress on his build, but unfortunately for him, it still pales in comparison to mine. Oh, Doga, you just about ready to start the next battle? Yes, Denny, I am ready to start this next battle. I have just finished my build. It is looking great. Good luck, because you're going down. All right, Doga, we'll see about that, because the wall is coming down. I'm ready. You're not going to expect which mobs I'm using. Good luck. Well, 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 we'll see about that. All right, the wall is coming down in three, two, one, and go, go, go. Wait, what are these? These are the fairest route not. Oh my gosh, my iron golems are going crazy right now. They're about to hit him. Oh, Wait. and he woke him up. Oh, he woke up the beast. That is something he did not want to do. And boom. Oh, and look at him. It's bam. Damage. It's and so much damage right now. Bop. This iron golem is toast. He is dead in four no. hits. This is going to be an absolute slaughter session. And this guy's completely cracked up too. Your golems are completely done for. Oh man, I might have needed to spawn a couple more. These guys in the back are completely scared of my knights. They're not even moving forward. Oh, and it looks like he woke him up again. And... Uh... 
I think he's nervous. Oh! Oh, he did a huge ground slam. And another ground slam. Wait, I can probably heal this guy with iron. I just need to go mining real quick. What is Zoga doing in the middle of the mob battle? Come on, come on, find some iron, find some iron. He's completely destroying the arena. Silly, Doga. Oh, I didn't find any iron. Well, what you are finding is your defeat because your iron golems are getting absolutely rolled. Oh, this is terrible, Denny. And another golem. axe swipe. There he goes. And another one. Wow, this golem does not know who he's messing with. And one more hit and he's gone. And boom, there he goes. Oh, no. It looks like this guy wants to smoke too. But unfortunately, that's exactly what he's going to get. Boom! And another hit from the axe. Oh, this guy did not learn his lesson from his friend, and there he goes to the grave! They literally took no damage and just healed. Wow, all your iron golems got completely wiped out by my knights, and they haven't even been touched. Look at the health bars! You know what? I'm gonna go mine for more iron golems. Man, come on, I need to find them, please! What a silly little guy. He's mining, but he's not going to find any iron. In fact, it's far too late for iron to fix what the damage has done. I forgot it's just bedrock because it's a flat world. And speaking of flat, it seems like your win count is still zero because I have three wins in a row. Stop it! He's being a little rager, baby. Wah, wah, wah. Cry about it. Stop, I'm telling mom. Tell mom she is not going to be able to change the result of this mob battle. I'm going to get rid of this guy and we're about ready to start round four. Four. Now, let's see what Mob Doga has in store for us right now. What in the world is that? It looks like a head on the ground. Is that even a mob? Oh my gosh, I love this head on the ground. It's going to be my trophy to power all my mobs, which is going to be overpowered. He seems to think a head is going to give him power, but I think he's getting a little ahead of himself. Oh man, I can't put it on. Ugh, I'm getting rid of it. Wow, that relationship ended quickly. Let's see what Doga decides to spawn for real this time. And it looks like he started spawning a bunch of sea mold golems. They look kind of crazy. They look like they're made of seagrass and some kind of underwater wood. Little does Denny know this wood is made out of birch. And who likes birch? Come on. Literally no one. Birch is the most ugly wood in the game. And probably the ugliest block in the game as well. Hey, I like birch. Just because he said that, I'm going to teach him a little bit of a lesson. Since he's using these sea mold creatures, I'm going to use something that's extremely powerful that's going to absolutely destroy these guys and it looks like he actually started spawning some more guys they look like they're made of sea barnacles these are some crazy underwater mobs and he's even spawning more in the back wow how many does he have this is kind of crazy you're not supposed to spawn more than one type of mob but it doesn't matter because the mob we're gonna use next is gonna absolutely destroy them all and that's because i'm using a giant squid creature look at this massive octopus there's absolutely no way he's gonna be able to defeat this and it looks like it's already ready to start the fight look at how it's hugging the wall it just can't wait to get over there and completely destroy Doga's creatures. I can't help but wonder if Doga's gonna build anything this time. And oh, look, it looks like he started building a little underwater tree. And it looks like he's gonna do another one right over here. I don't really remember the last time I saw a tree growing underwater, but Doga can have what he wants. No matter what he builds, it's not gonna be enough to destroy my squid creature. It looks like he's building a tree in all four corners of the map. And I don't know why he's building trees, but I know what I'm gonna build. I'm gonna build a model of my octopus creature. I'm gonna start by making a big block of floating white wool in the air like this. And he has tentacles, so I'm gonna add some tentacles coming out of the side. I'm gonna add another one down here. And another one right over here. Another one right here, just so he has more than three. I'm gonna add another one right here, and then another one right in the middle. And then I'm gonna repeat the same thing on this side too. I'm gonna have a little bit of a tentacle coming down here, and one more coming out of the side, just like this. And just like that, I think the tentacles are done, but we need to add a bit of a face. I'm gonna add some big eyes because our guy's eyes are closed, and I want him to see our victory, so I'm gonna give him some eyes. And that actually looks really cute. I'm gonna give him some eyebrows to finish it off. And finally, I'm gonna add a little bit of a mouse just to finish the build. And look at that, that looks so cute and amazing. <laughs> but now that that's done, I think we're ready to start round four of the mob battle. Hey, Doga, are you about ready to start? Yes, Denny, I am super duperly ready. I've got all my mobs ready to destroy destroy whatever you've spawned oh well we'll see how your little tree creatures hold up against my squid creature i mean my what how did you know that uh i just had a hunch there were some trees on the other side of the wall because trees produce oxygen and i noticed i could suddenly breathe easier oh that's such a strange reason to 
know that my tree creatures are tree creatures. Um, you know, this is an underwater battle, so I, I don't even understand why you would try to guess even something remotely clear to land. I was trying to, like, curveball it and give a tree creature. Not that they are, actually, because, um, they are all a bunch of piranhas and fishies, and, uh, they're gonna come kill whatever fish you've spawned. Interesting that you say that, but we'll see in about 10 seconds. Are you ready to start the mob battle? Yep. Five, four, three, two, one, and the walls are down. The fighting has begun. What is that? This is my giant octopus creature that you have absolutely no chance against. Wait, what is that? What is this? This is my little octopus buddy. Do you like him? He looks ugly as heck. We'll see who looks ugly once this battle is over, because I'm going to turn your mobs into mincemeat. Mmm, jokes on you. They're made out of wood. Well, I'm gonna turn them to shreds. I'm gonna turn them to paper, and on that paper, I'm gonna print money. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna turn your octopus squid thing into calamari. Oh, my gosh, and it looks like he's starting to shoot fireballs at the guys. Is he gonna shoot another one? Oh, there he goes, shooting another fireball. Oh, this one's gonna be a direct hit. Oh, and another direct hit right there, and another direct hit. I'm gonna punch him back right here, and boom. I'm gonna punch this fireball right into them. Boom! <laughs> this is so much fun! Me and my squid creature make a great team! And boom, a direct hit! No, stop, stop, go away! Oh man, this guy's overpowered! He's killing all my mobs! Your mobs are too scared to even fight back! It looks like your guys have finally started to actually come for my guy! Oh no, they're actually kind of eating away at his health! Fight back! Fight back! Fight back! Come on, please, please, please! You need to hurry up and fight back! No, my creature is getting destroyed! Oh my gosh, am I about to win a round? Yes! I totally won that round, Denny! What just happened? I can't believe I just lost! Oh, look, the rain has even started for you. If we go above... Oh, it's the sad rain. Are you sad, Denny? No, I'm so sad. I can't believe I just lost, and I cheated, too! I mean, what? Wait, you what? Uh, nothing. I just said I beat it. I, I, I beat it by personal record for push-ups yesterday. I did 50 in a row. All right, well, I'm ready for the final round, which has, I'll be honest, I've got a secret mob, which is definitely going to defeat you. We'll see about that, Doga. And how about for this final round, the winner takes all. All right, I'll see you there at the finish line. Actually, I won't see you at the finish line because you will not finish. The only thing I'm going to see you at is your funeral. Get ready to be destroyed, Doga. Oh, we'll see about that, Denny. All right, the walls are going back up, and it's time to start the fifth and final round. Okay, let's see what Doga decides to pick for its fifth and final mob. And they look like massive sea serpents. Oh, my gosh. These guys are absolutely humongous. How am I going to combat these guys? And they're even coming on my side. I don't even know if I have something that can be able to fight these guys. Nah, I'm just joking. I have the perfect mob to combat those things. What better to fight a giant sea creature with than another giant sea creature? Unleash the Kraken! Look at this massive beast! This thing is so OP. And just because I want to show you guys, I'm going to go in survival real quick just so it's going to absolutely destroy me. Look how much damage it did. I was dead in two hits. And I'm so eager to get this battle started. So let's just go straight into it. No builds, no nothing. Let's just jump right into it. Odoga, are you ready for our final battle? I'm ready. Chuck down that wall right now before they get over the wall. All right, let's bring down the wall. Final countdown. Three, two, one. And the wall is gone. The battle begins. Oh, is that a Kraken? And they're making oh a beeline gosh. toward my Kraken and they're going to attack it. Oh my gosh, but my Kraken is fighting back valiantly. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh, my Kraken. Kraken is destroying them, but they're also destroying my Kraken. This is a very even fight. Oh my gosh, I only have one serpent left. No, this is a tragedy. This fight is absolutely crazy. My Kraken has already managed to destroy a few of them. Oh, oh it looks like they're fighting. My Kraken isn't doing too good on help, but just one more, just one more final fight. And he's circling around him. He's trying to decide if he wants to spare his life or ruin it. You can still go away, sea creature. There's still a chance for you to live a happy life. You don't have to contend with my Kraken. Leave, get a job, start a family. Even Doga wants you to leave. Come on, it's it's not worth it. It's no use. The sea creature is fighting bravely against the Kraken, even though there's absolutely no chance of victory. And just like that, the sea creature is destroyed and the Kraken emerges victorious. No, it did lose two tentacles though, so uh, it's not like they didn't put up a good fight. Yeah, they did sure put up a good fight, especially that last one at the end. Man, I just don't get it. How do you know the direct counter to all my mobs? Well, Doga, 
I feel like I have to come clean about something. Really? Doga, I want you to take a look at this wall right now and tell me what you noticed. Um, you accidentally placed glass? No, silly. Go on the other side of it. Oh, I see. So you switched it to bedrock now because it was glass before. No, silly. I'm using one-way glass, meaning I can see exactly what you were placing the entire time. One-way glass? Wait. Left. Bedrock. Glass. Bedrock. Glass. Bedrock. Glass. Bedrock. Daddy, did you cheat? Yes, Stoga, I've been cheating the entire time, but it doesn't matter because I won the mob battle. Are you serious? Oh, I'm so angry. I'm so no, angry. No, get away from me with that thing. I'm gonna come get you with the mob killer. Yeah! Okay, I feel better now. It's okay, Doga. Maybe you'll win next time, but honestly, I doubt it. Okay. Today, we're doing an underwater mob battle, but I'm secretly going to be using hacks to cheat. Using this one-way glass, I can see exactly what my friend Doga is doing at all times. And since I can see exactly what mobby places, I can choose the perfect underwater counter. And speaking of which, let's go see how he's doing. Oh, Doga, what are you doing over here? It looks like you built a little bit of a SpongeBob environment <laughs> i'm just kidding daddy i'm not actually squidward he uh yeah he didn't make it <laughs> you killed squidward what are you doing dude oh hey whoa he's got some character just redraw him you know well you need to redraw your attitude why did you build this entire bikini bottom for that one bit wow you're such a loser all right are you ready to begin the mob battle yes daddy i'm ready but uh i don't really like that attitude anyways i'm gonna clean this up and we can start all all right, Doga, I'm gonna go to my side of the wall and let's go ahead and get started and get ready for round one. Okay, bye, bye, bye. I can't believe Doga made an entire bikini bottom just for like a three second bit and it wasn't even funny. <laughs> but let's see what Mobby decides to place first and it looks like it's going to be... But guys, speaking of bikini bottom, what do you guys like better? SpongeBob or Sanjay and Greg? Leave in the comments because I'm kind of curious. All right, let's see what Doga decides to spawn first and it looks like he's going with some weird looking sharks. What the heck? Why is he using sharks? There are so many powerful powerful mobs in this mod pack as you'll see later in the video but why is he using just normal shrimpy looking sharks i mean he could have chosen something so much better i'm actually going to unmute and ask him what his thought process is on this oh dogo why did you choose normal shrimpy stupid sharks i mean what wait a minute you told me the exact mob that i'm placing not that i am but was that just a lucky guess i have no idea how you would have possibly been able to know that these sharks Wait, what I placed? Uh, well, here's the thing. I heard a lot of shark noises coming from the other side of the wall. And sharks kind of sound like, rawr, rawr, rawr. Kind of like Lady Gaga, how she says, rawr, 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 uh, uh. So I was just kind of observant and noticed I heard those sounds coming from the other side of the wall from your sharks. Oh, good singing, Denny, first off. But second off, that makes no sense. Sharks don't really make noise because they are underwater. I mean, it'd be pretty hard making noise underwater unless you're like a whale. Well, Doga, you're a whale. Aww. Uh... Shucks. <laughs> Shut? Well, Doga, you're actually a little bit of a boo-boo shark. Boo-boo shark? Ugh, don't call me that. Ah, uh, boo-boo shark, a boo-boo shark. <laughs> no. Uh, and if the comments call me a boo-boo shark as well, I'm going to be really mad. Guys, guys, Doga hates when you call him a boo-boo shark, so leave in the comments calling him a boo-boo shark. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the mob battle. And since he chose sharks, I think I know exactly which mob I'm going to choose to counter him. Since he chose some stupid little sharks i actually have something up my sleeve and it's going to be way bigger way better way more battlier than some sharks and that's going to be the ignormies and he is quite enormous if i do say so myself i mean look at him his nice purplish reddish fins his giant freaking mouth with his massive sharp teeth you do not want to mess with this guy and that is on god all right and it looks like dogas actually started to build a little bit of something and it looks like he's starting to build some long longer ears for his Squidward house? I don't know what his thought process is behind this, but it's looking kind of goofy. Oh, I accidentally broke the wall. Oh, no, no. Put it back. Put it back. That was close, guys. Like I said, I'm using one-way glass, so if Doga finds out, I'm pretty much dead. But yeah, it looks like he's adding some ears, and actually, upon closer look, they kind of look like arms coming out of his Squidward house. I have no idea why he's doing that and why he thinks that looks good, but I guess Doga can do him. I mean, he has hot takes, but while he's working on his build, I think I'm gonna work on... But while he's working on his build, I think I'm gonna build a little bit of something of my own and that's going to be a replica of my ignormies okay i'm gonna start by getting my brush tool and i'm just gonna set this to gray wool so that way when we place it on the ground oh no that's not what 
what I want to do. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. I have a gray cube in the sky, just like this. And since we're underwater, it actually kind of affects my placement. So I'm going to have to go into spectator mode if I want to do this. So place one like that, place another one like that. Boom, boom, boom. And there we go. We kind of have a long little strip of gray wool right here, which we're going to use to turn into our fish. So I'm going to add some fins on the side, just like this looking really cool already. But there's still so much potential that this guy has not realized yet. So I'm going to go ahead and fulfill his true destiny. I'm going to add another fin on the other side, just like so. And I know it's looking kind of like a cross, like a T-shape right now. But guys, believe me, it's going to look so cool when it's done. And you guys do not want to miss this. So go ahead and strap in, sit back, relax, grab a snack, and just watch as this unfolds. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and add another fin just like this on the top. And I think this is looking really, really cool so far, guys. I'm going to go ahead and add the head. And after I do the head, I think I'm just about done with this build. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of a heady shape just like this. You guys may be wondering, what is a heady shape? It's kind of just like a cube and a circle combined. Just something that looks like a head because, you know, we want this guy to have good head. And so I'm going to go ahead and fill it in just like that. And I think that is looking really, really cool. I'm going to go ahead and grab some black wool so I can go ahead and make some eyes just like this. Nice and cute. Just, just like our real version of our fish right here. He's looking nice and cute, but vicious at the same time. And honestly, guys, that is a good balance. You never want to look too cute, but you never want to look too vicious. You just want to be a nice guy, but don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. Just like our fish right here. You want to be nice, but don't take your kindness for a weakness. And that is exactly what I'm trying to achieve for my fish. So I have my eyes done just like that. And now all that's left to do is add some teeth. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the creative inventory right here and grab some white wool out of it just like that. Nice and white. So I'm going to go ahead and add some teeth just like this going all the way up the top. And I think I'm going to actually have a little bit of a crisscross pattern like this just so it looks really cool and textured and detailed. It's something that's way better than anything Doga could ever build. I mean, look at this weird Squidward looking house. <laughs> it looks so dumb. Am I right? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Add some teeth along the bottom. Just this. And that is looking really, really cool so far. I think the teeth really helped to complete the build. But I think we are just about done. I think that looks really, really good. All right. It's time to get started with the mob battle. I think I'm going to unmute and ask Doga if he's ready. All right, Doga. Are you ready to begin the mob battle? Yes, Denny. I am super duper ready to start this underwater mob battle the first round. I've got my build. I've got all my uh, mobs that somehow you just kind of guessed. And I've got my willpower. Meaning I'm probably going to take this one home. Sorry, Denny. It was it was, it was was a strong journey, but it's coming to a sudden halt for you. Ah, uh, sudden halt. The only thing that's going to come to a halt is your life, Doga. I'm sorry, but my mobs are going to destroy what? you. Okay, are you ready to get the wall down and get ready to start round one? Yes, Daddy, I am super ready. All right, Doga, the wall is coming down in three, two, one, and let the battle begin! And oh my gosh, are those megalodons? What are these? They are how I'm going to win this mob battle. It looks like one of your sharks already died immediately. How embarrassing! Ooh, oh my gosh, there another one goes. How'd you pick such an overpowered mob? I think the real question is, how did you pick such an underpowered mob? I mean, look at these guys. They are so nervous to even do anything. Yeah, no, they're not nervous. Look, this hammerhead shark is going crazy. And oh, man, it just died instantly. This uh, isn't fair. This is such a sh short fight. I see why it's called hammerhead shark. Because your sharks are getting absolutely hammered. I'm sorry, but they're just dead. And that's on me, Doga. And look, your sharks are trying to chase my guy. But he's completely ignoring them. They don't even pose a threat to him. They're like little fleas. Oh, he's, he's running. He's running running. That's what he's doing. Oh, wait. Yeah. No, one of them actually got defeated. Wait, wait. Am I about to win? No. No, no. Keep on fighting. Keep on fighting. Come on. Come on. Look. Look up here. I've got so many more sharks. Yes. Okay, okay. All oh, your sharks are dead in that corner. Oh, my God, Doga. You're silly if you think you're actually going to win this. Oh, come on. Like, look at the chances. What is this guy even dying to? Oh, I think he's having a little bit of... I think he's having a little bit of internal bleeding. That's kind of bad, but I think he can still pull through. I mean, look how big he is compared to these tiny little sharks. They're dying in one hit. Oh. And just like that, I think I won the first round. What? Wait. And you cheated by knowing my sharks for some reason. How'd you even know that? Uh, wait, 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 wait. You didn't win? Actually, wait, there's another guy right up here. Oh my God, there's another guy right up there. No, there isn't. There's no way there's another guy here. There 
there's another guy. What? Yeah, it's how? crazy. I don't know how you didn't see him at first, but look, your sharks are actually fighting each other. Oh my god. Hey, that's my bad. I didn't know there was any more. I, I guess, I guess there is. Well, good luck I, to this shark, wherever the heck he came from. Yeah, maybe work on that, Doga. Your attitude is a little bit of something you need to work on. And speaking, of, speaking of things to work on, look at your build. It looks like complete garbage. It's literally SpongeBob, Squidward, and Patrick. <laughs> House. Why? Why do you have to be like this? Seriously, SpongeBob is the best show ever made, and you're dissing it. And everyone in the comments also doesn't like you uh, because of it. Best show ever made. I think that best show ever made actually goes to Wednesday. But what do you guys think? Do you like SpongeBob or Wednesday? Leave in the comments because I'm kind of curious. And while we were talking about Wednesday, it looks like my guy just destroyed your sharks. It's sure Wednesday for me because this is the day that I win. <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. Okay, Teddy, whatever you say. But man, I guess it's only fair since your shark did defeat my sharks. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, this thing is so scary, though. Look at its teeth. It, it needs, like, to brush its teeth. And it's, like, I don't know, uh, uh, Colgate. Is that a good one? Needs to brush my teeth? I think you need to brush your attitude, Doga. Are you ready to put back up the wall and get ready to start round two? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it, Denny. I'm gonna clean this up, and we'll get to round ten. Yes, sir. All right, guys, that was really close. I actually cheated and spawned another one, but he didn't notice. Let's hope that does not happen again. Okay, now that round one is over, it's time to see what Doga decides to pick for round two. And it looks like it's going to be some weird giant mutant guardian creature. What even is that thing? It looks crazy. Wow. It looks like a giant mechanical version of normal guardians. I mean, they look kind of cool. I'm gonna be real with you, dog. They look really cool. But unfortunately for Doga, I have something that's even cooler. And that is going to be the Jackal. <laughs> look at these guys. They're like giant crawfish. And oh my God, are they going to crawl all over your grave? <laughs> They're gonna be crazy. There's no way I'm losing this mob battle with these crazy guys backing me. I mean, look how small and puny they are compared to my massive mobs. They are so done for. And that's on me, bro. They are done. And it looks like Doga's actually started to build a little bit of something. It kind of looks like a prismarine cube. I guess he's just going to build a giant version of his mobs, just like he usually does. But guys, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not really in the mood to build anything. So I think I'm just going to troll him instead. But let's wait a little bit. Let's wait till his build gets a little bit bigger. Bigger, you know, let's let's let him cook a bit because I want to truly devastate him by destroying a build that's actually good and not just a weird prismarine cube. In the meantime, though, I'm gonna go ahead and go invisible and I'm just gonna go invisible real quick, just like this, and I'm just gonna go on the other side of his wall. And oh my gosh, he has no idea I'm right next to him. In fact, I think I can actually do a little bit of trolling beside him. So I'm gonna go ahead over here. I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to use something called the rainbow dynamite. And what that is going to do, well, you guys are gonna see really soon. I'm gonna throw it right here and watch what it does oh my god it's spreading rainbow everywhere oh my god Doug has no idea what what just happened did one of my mobs explode or something that bunch of rainbow like concrete just hit the ground and, and it's ruined my whole area oh what my what just happened Doug got such a little noob he has absolutely no idea what a boo-boo shark am i right okay let's go ahead and throw another one and see how he reacts this time i'm gonna throw it right here nice and inconspicuous nice and secret and boo whoa it just happened again Again. Hey, guardian thing, stop it! What are you doing? This is totally you, because no one else is on the other side of this wall, so it has to be you! Doga really thinks it's some stupid Minecraft fish doing this. What a little noob! Okay, I'm going to do one final one, and then I think I'm going to actually start destroying his build. Start really getting to him. I'm gonna throw one just like this, all the way over here, and boom! Again? Stop it! Stop! It's you, it's this one. I'm killing it. Bang! Yeah, no more explosions. All right, I think we're good, but oh man, my whole place is a mess. Well, it was going to be a mess regardless because my mobs are going to make a mess out of Doga's weak creatures. Okay, let's go ahead and let him finish building up his build a little bit more before I troll him some more. Man, so much bad things are happening before the mob battle. I had to sacrifice a whole guardian. I had to, I had to rebuild stuff. And now my whole place is a mess. Oh man, I'm a 
annoyed. On one hand, I feel kind of bad for Doga. On the other hand, this is so funny to watch him struggle like this. Okay, let's go ahead and see what he's deciding to build. And it kind of looks a little bit weird. It has like six fingers coming out of it like that. I mean, I guess they're just the spike things coming out of the head just like this. And honestly, I guess he's doing a pretty good job of duplicating it. But it wouldn't look so bad if he didn't choose such a bad looking mob in the first place. I'm gonna be real with y'all, bro. It looks like he's doing some weird glowstone design on the side. I'm not quite sure what this is, but let's let him cook. Let's let him cook. I think I've done letting him cook. I think it's time to destroy his build. And to do that, I'm going to go into the creative inventory and grab a little something called the Meteor Dynamite. And in order to do that, I'm going to go into the creative inventory and grab something called the Icy Meteor Dynamite. And guys, you have no idea what this does. It is absolutely crazy, but I'm just going to throw it down like this and you're going to see. And it's falling slowly. It's falling. And okay, there it goes. Whoa. And now there should be. Was that? Oh! That should have massive explosion. <gasps> what? Oh, what is it it's falling what slowly is in. Oh! oh, no, 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 no. No, no, come on. Don't hit the ground. Don't hit the ground. Don't hit the ground. Oh, oh no! my God! Oh! What was that? That was perfect. It stopped literally right before it hit the wall. So the wall is completely undamaged. Wow. Look at this massive hole. Oh, no. Guardians, are you okay? It's alright. I'll give you more brothers and sisters. That was incredibly insane. I, uh, I guess that was really cool how slow that thing was falling, but I didn't realize from how slow it was falling, it was just gonna make this big of an impact or a hole or a destruction. I don't get it, man. Why me? Why is it always me? Oh, Doga, Doga, Doga. Being a little rager made me as usual. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side of the wall and unmute and get ready to start round two. Oh, Doga, are you ready to begin? in round two yeah i guess i'm ready but man some tragedies just happened and it's not my fault it just happened uh, just happened well i think you happen to be making excuses are you ready to drop the wall yeah i guess i'm ready to drop the wall all right doga time to get started the wall is coming down in three two one and let the battle begin and, oh my gosh what are these they're like sea buses these are my jackals and they're so gonna jack up your guys Oh my god! Whoa! Actually, one of your jackals already took a lot of damage. Wait a second. Yeah, they are taking a lot of damage. Come on, jackals. You can do better than this. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? You already have health? What the heck? They're not even doing anything. Wait a second. I think my guys are a lot weaker than I thought they were. What the heck? They're not even doing any damage to Dogus, guys. One of them is already dead. What the heck? You flip? This is so easy. Oh no, guys. This is really bad. I'm going to have to cheat again. Oh my gosh. You literally only have two jackals left. This is bad. Okay, I need to do this quick. I need to go ahead and morph into one of the jackals just like this. I'm going to go into my F5 mode. I'm going to drink some milk just like this. And there we go. I'm completely visible again. And there we are. I am a jackal. And Doga has absolutely no idea. I'm going to go ahead and destroy Doga's mobs. Dude, jackals kind of suck. I'm not going to lie. You picked the wrong mobs. And whoa, there's another one, but it doesn't have a boss bar. That's super weird. I guess it's fine, but that's, that's really weird. Okay, Doga's already kind of starting to put sus on me. So I need to move very carefully and slowly to actually look like one of the mobs. I gotta be really careful. So I'm just gonna fly really slowly over here and I'm just gonna actually do a little bit of damage first to it just to look like I don't one-shot it because that is a little bit suspicious. So I'm just gonna keep punching it like that and there it goes. Whoa! It's died anyway. I guess the jackals are kind of good. Look at those clamps, those grippers, those nippers, those, those little, those, those looking things. Whoa. Yeah, I got the nippers. All right. I'm so gonna nip your guys, though. I'm gonna go ahead and secretly go over here and I'm just gonna punch them a little bit more like this before we open up for the finishing strike with our powerful sword and boom, he is out of the Whoa. water. This one's overpowered. Why can't this one do anything? That's super weird. They're like different. Oh, never mind. It actually did do something. That's cool. Okay. looks like we have a few more enemies to go. So I'm gonna go over here and punch them a little bit. You guys know the drill. Punch them up, punch them up. And then I'm going to use my OP sword and boom he is dead now we just have like little guardians left what happened to the big ones okay these guardians are weak so i don't think it would look too suspicious if i just go around one shotting them just like this oh my god they are so what? bad what are these random pillars going around doga i'm sorry but i think my mobs are way better than yours what no they're not denny don't even speak nonsense like that like come on like I, my guys were destroying you before what happened yeah well it's not about what you 
you've done, Doka. It's about what you're doing, and it looks like you're doing kind of bad. <laughs> well, speaking of doing, are you gonna do and get over here? Because I don't actually see you. Where are you? Oh, I'm actually just hanging out inside of the icy dome you decided to build for no reason. I don't know why you built this icy oh. dome, but yeah, I'm just hanging well, outside there, watching the fight. Let me just check. Uh, so, like, where specifically? Uh, uh, I I'm in there, but you don't need to check. I'm just kind of hanging out in there. You don't really need to check. You need to watch the battle. Oh, my I'm, God. Look at this crazy looking, battle. You're not here. Maybe you're out here. Hello, Denny. Where are you? Okay, guys, this is actually getting really bad. He's getting kind of suspicious of me because I'm nowhere to be found. So, really quickly, I'm just going to go ahead and swim over here just like this. And then I'm just going to go ahead and unmorph back into my normal self just like this. And I'm going to go inside the ice house and pretend like I was here the entire time. Uh, Denny, the mob battle kind of ended. Where? Where are you? I'm going inside and you're not here. And I'm oh, right, Denny. I'm right here. What are you talking here? about? I'm right here just eating my fish. <laughs> I love cod. You want to play some cod with me? No. All right, Doga. Well, I understand why you're mad because it looks like your mobs are going to completely demolish. What? I mean, look at this weird thing Wait, you decided what? to cheat and spawn, but it's dead regardless. What thing? This what weird this? thing right here. What even is this? That's from the jackal. It's a jackal pillar. What in the world? I spawned this thing? I bet. I'll take it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and morph back into a jackal just like this while doga isn't looking and i'm gonna go ahead and just kill the rest of these guardians all around just like this move out of the way jackal move out of the way okay there's one more guardian right here i'm gonna kill him and there we go doga i won the mob no. battle are you serious all my mobs are dead maybe you should have picked a better mob doga maybe you should have picked a better mob i totally had you in the first half though two of you guys got destroyed instantly and then randomly another one just kind of spawned alongside the last one which just like went beast mode for some reason i think you're just kind of mad that you lost a mob battle so bad all right but doga i'm gonna make a little bit of a deal with you how about whoever wins this last round wins all mm, deal I bet, Doga. Let's go ahead and put back up the wall and get ready to start the final round. You better watch your booty, because I'm coming for it. All right, Doga's side is all cleaned up, and it's time to see what he chooses for his final mob. And it looks like he's going to go with... Whoa, what in the world are those things? They look like some giant prehistoric beast. These are definitely the craziest mobs Doga has spawned so far. Oh my god, I mean, look at them. They look ridiculous. They're like giant, massive underwater dinosaurs. Oh my god, I don't even think I have a mob to counter this. They look so strong. Nah, I'm just joking, guys. Of course I have the perfect mob to counter it. What better to counter a massive beast than with an even massiver beast? And that is going to be none other than the Lunar Storm! Look how big this guy is! This is his natural size! This guy is all natural! Oh my god! He is a behemoth! And just because I'm so confident that my guy can completely wipe the floor with dogas i'm just gonna go ahead and just spawn one because i mean look at him look at his giant massive eyes you can just look into his eye and tell he means business lord business oh my lord all right i'm gonna go ahead and unmute and ask doga if he's ready to begin the fight just get straight into it no building no trolling no nothing let's just get started oh doga are you ready to begin the final battle i'm ready Teddy, and i heard a really really loud noise is this your mob i hope it's nothing too crazy because I don't know. I've got a pretty crazy mob myself. I'm sorry, Doga, but you may not like what you see when I put down these walls. But are you ready to get started? I'm ready, Denny. Waiting for you. All right. The wall is coming down to begin the final battle in three, two, one. And let the battle begin. God! Oh, my gosh. Look at this thing. It's spinning around, destroying everything. Holy crap. It looks like your guys Where'd are- you find this? I found it in my super secret stash of OP mobs, Doga. I'm sorry, but there's no way you're winning this battle. I mean, look at my guy. He's already destroying your guys. There's already only one left. Where the heck did they all go? Look at him. He is so freaking big, and your guy is so small. I'm sorry, Doga. This is just such a small victory. Fight. Go fight. There's a small chance of you achieving victory, Doga. Almost as small as your mob. Oh, my God. I mean, look at my guy. He's massive. He's not that big. Yeah. Yeah, it's so much bigger than yours, Doga. I'm sorry, but look at his massive mouth. The mouth alone is bigger than your entire mob. Oh, no, he's eating him. He's eating him. Stop. My guy is spinning around, throwing a 360 no-scope on him, and he is dead. Your mob is no. dead. 
Even all the seagrass on the floor couldn't... It couldn't protect my mobs long enough for them to win the battle. I'm sorry, Doga. I can't believe you lost so easily. That was crazy. Oh, man. That's so silly. Oh, man. Well, just to contain this thing, I think you should put the wall back up just so, like, we could talk for the final, you know... Yeah, good idea, Doga. I'm gonna go ahead and put the wall back up and let's get ready to do the outro. And... Oh, oh, wait a second. Actually, do not look at the wall. Do not look at the wall, Doga. Wait. Why wouldn't I look at the wall? Uh, um, oh, uh, Jenny? actually, wait a second. Do not look at the wall, Doga. Do not look at the wall. Oh, you're looking at the wall. So, uh, <laughs> Denny, what is this? <laughs> Why does it look like that? Yeah, uh, I accidentally set it to glass. One second, my mistake. I'm gonna set it back to bedrock oh, how it was before. Okay, all right. So, if I just, uh, right just don't click touch it real the wall. Quick, why does it turn into bedrock? Is this one way glass again, Denny? Ah. Uh, I'm sorry, Doga. I've been cheating this entire time with one-way glass. Doga, I'm sorry. The truth is you had some pretty cool mobs too, like this big guy and oh, you just killed him. So wait, I feel like you also cheated in two different ways. One being the one-way glass and the second one being the morph mod because there was supposed, there was only one boss bar. Oh my gosh, it all makes sense. And then, and then the jackal, the, 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 the guardians, they died. <gasps> and the sharks, the sharks everywhere. Oh my gosh, did you turn into your own mobs? Did you spawn an extra mob as well with the no. megalodons? Did you did you use this one my glass this whole time to know exactly what I'm gonna do and then you're gonna place the exact counter? Did you cheat? No, I Oh, Doka, yes, I've been cheating this entire time. I'm sorry. Can you please forgive me? Fine, Denny. I guess I could think about forgiving you. Oh, thank you. Ten years from now! No! Ah, ah, ah. And I prevail. So I guess I win now, right? Okay, Doga. I guess since I've been cheating this entire time, you actually win the mob battle. Rah, 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 rah. Never mind. Cool Never mind. I win the mob battle. What in the world was that? My head. You got something against heads? I got something against bad head. <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to do it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe and comment which was your favorite mob. Personally, oh, I accidentally fell off. Just like Doga's channel. But personally, oh, I fell off again. Just like Doga's channel. Fell off twice. Okay, looks like I actually... Oh, I just fell off too. Just like your channel and every other channel you have. And all you subscribe. All your videos suck. <laughs> all your everything is just doing Okay, again. let's shut him up real quick. <laughs> Give him a little bit of a shut. Am I right? <laughs> Yuck. All right, guys. I'm Denny. And uh, I think Doga quit. I'm all on my own now. Wow. And I'm Doga. Oh, he's back. And we're, and we're done. And we're done. And we're done. We'll see you on the next one. And we're done. Peace. Peace. Bye.